Hey Hills, welcome to the first 2021 issue of the PASCAC Recap. My name is Riley Solomon. And I'm Sienna Scott. And we will be your anchors. I am so excited to be one of the PASCAC Recap anchors this year. So am I. It feels like the role is passed down from my older brother, Frank Scott, who was the anchor of the Cowboy Roundup. In a way, it's like you're fulfilling a family legacy. That is so cool. Yeah, it really seems that way. All right, Hills, let's get to what you're all really here for, the school news. Riley, what happened this month at Hills? Well, final submissions for the DECA States competition were made by Hills students the week before President's Day break. Mrs. Gamgort was proud to announce that this year had the highest number of students from Hills who advanced to the state competition. Results from the state competition determining who will proceed to nationals will be announced within the upcoming week. Congratulations to all who participated. Yeah, congratulations everyone. Even coming this far is a huge accomplishment. And speaking of DECA, one of the PASCAC Hills DECA advisors, Ms. Apinogian, recently visited Montclair State where she was asked to speak at a presentation. On February 11th, Hills teacher Ms. Apinogian presented to Montclair State students about the discrimination faced by marginalized groups and expression through music and art culture. Apinogian presented on behalf of the Armenian people about the Armenian genocide to inspire future teachers to teach passionately in all of their classes and to educate them on the topic of genocide. Wow, that is such an important topic and presentation. I'm wondering, lots of Hills alumni attend Montclair State. Maybe some of them saw Ms. Apinosian's presentation. Yeah, maybe. And speaking of college, I know a lot of juniors have been struggling to take their SATs and ACTs due to cancellations at their test centers. Yeah, I've been struggling with that too. But good news for all juniors. The Hills Guidance Office has just announced that there will be an in-person ACT date set for April 17th at Pascag Valley for only Hills and Valley students. The deadline to register is March 5th, so check your emails and don't forget to sign up. I really hope the weather cooperates enough for none of these tests to get postponed. This year has been crazy enough without all the insane amounts of snow we've been getting. Yeah, you're right. This past winter has been one of the snowiest winters we've seen in a really long time. New Jersey has seen a total of at least 21.7 inches of snow and counting this season. This past week, the district called another in-person closure due to five to eight inches of snow that fell on New Jersey roads. Do you think we'll get more snow through Marciana or do you think we might possibly get an early spring? Knowing how this year is going, there could be snow at graduation. Thank you so much for tuning into our show this week, everyone. Be sure to follow the PHHS Trailblazer on Instagram to keep up with the school updates and the Trailblazer's newest articles. For more information on the news discussed during this video, please visit these links to the Trailblazer website where you can learn more from the paper staff about upcoming events. See you next month, everyone. Stay safe.